crossroads there. Oh, yeah. See? Here I is. remember well. Nice. I've seen it with a knife. You remember well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> pun, pun not intended. Seven eight Survivor FM oh. is that he remembers you Hello, very guys. well and oh, he yeah, even like yeah. interviewed you. So was I on the day? Ah, oh, okay, I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's saying that you you were part of the community team in the hardest part of Daisy, which I That's kind true. of. That's true. I kind of also um, can like sign this because I joined at that time yeah. and it was really rough uh, with the whole vibe in the community and yeah. in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It because was very hard yeah, for because there was a lot of people who were working on the switch to partly to the new engine, so we had a lot of work yeah. basically hidden from the community that we couldn't you know show before yeah. it's ready it was and like a big drought where yeah, there was yeah, yeah. nothing coming out and it was and it's of... it's amazing redemption story actually we are yeah. so happy that daisy is doing so well now because yeah there were like times where the concurrent players weren't that high yeah. and i think that last year That's we actually oh yeah infected. we actually almost peaked yeah. to almost half a million ccu across all platforms so that's something absolutely amazing so how does it feel playing the game after being involved with the project? Does it make yeah, does it make right. you see the game differently? Here's the thing, I have an almost two year old kid now at home, so I don't have much time to play games. But I still love Daisy. This is how I basically got into Bohemia, into the job. I, I love Daisy as a as a player first, and that's how I like got the marketing job here. It wasn't for Daisy at first, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> so uh Especially now with me not being able to like play each update and just like having very limited time More hmm. wolves Having very limited time to play Daisy uh, It's been especially amazing to see the progress for the past hmm. two years in the game uh, Because so much has changed the game improved yeah. quite significantly and seeing it from the outside even when I was out out of Bohemia for this one and a half years it was truly amazing to see the game like regain its success again. Cause, yeah. Like admittedly, at like when we launched the PC 1.0, 2018, and then we when we launched the for the Xbox version and then PlayStation version of the game, it's like it wasn't the most successful like uh, era of Daisy in <laughs> terms of like the the performance of the game, uh, how many copies it sold, and how many players were actively playing it. But like over. Over the two, three years that I was not actively involved with the game, it's it's arguably probably the time frame where most of the really important changes happen yeah. for the game to like regain its success. And it's been really amazing watching it yeah. from the outside again as a fan of DayZ because my favorite game was being updated very regularly with cool stuff, and more and more people were playing it. Yeah, and it's, more, it's and also more crazy. And more people were creating like YouTube content about it and Twitch live yeah. streams. Because when we were so. working together in like 2017, I would never, I would never guess that in 2022 we will exactly. have a, like a peak yeah. of players. Yeah, I think yeah, even yeah. this year we already had a peak yeah. of like maximum concurrent, you know, players. Yeah. So it's it's really really, really crazy and to, like to think I, that. I see the player charts every week because that's part of my job, and I'm constantly amazed every week yeah. that. Even compared to 2021, 22, 23, the game is still able to grow. Like, even hmm. now, each year, we're still getting more and more active player base like, into the game, actually. Which is Daisy celebrating 10 year anniversary this yeah. year. It's like, yeah, exactly. How many games can say that? That if after, no, you can say years. that about, you can say that about gaming franchises, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed. But you know there have been like twenty releases. Yeah, yeah. Since, the, but Daisy is still this one game, hmm, uh, hmm. but constantly updated, constantly improved, and it's amazing. It's amazing from the product point of view as a marketing person, but it's even more amazing from the point of view of, of me just being a Daisy fan, and yeah, still yeah, loving yeah. Daisy, because the game is still with me for all these years, and it's amazing because I still love it. I, I I still yeah. get like uh, like. A lot of memories, great memories when we first first did the new animation system in like 2016-17 and we did the stress test so oh, people yeah, yeah, yeah. for very limited time could play it and people were so hyped up about it that the complete mood in the office changed yeah. to something much more positive and it was amazing to see that in the community, at work, you know, and even at home when we were like playing with friends, right? Yeah. So 
Yeah, you should chamber it probably if you. I, I just wanted to use the scope. But oh. I, I, how do I switch it? Help. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played for a while. I, I I would help you, but honestly, I don't uh, play on Xbox as much. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. and when but I say as much, I, I mean like none at all. <laughs> I just play on PC. Uh. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, uh, Which is actually kind of funny because in 2018 we were together with Martin at Gamescom, and, and it was the first yeah time, uh, Xbox. It was the, the first game. time anyone from public could play the oh. the builds, you know, and we because yeah because we wanted to make it genuine, the actual dev team was there to teach people how to like play. So I got placed next to a few computers, so like hey, show people the game. But kind of we didn't have the time for part where they someone explained to me how it's controlled. Yeah. So I remember like big streamer <laughs> coming in and he was like, "Hey, how do I reload no the pressure. gun?" And I was like, "No pressure. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Try all the buttons, you know." And so yeah, yeah uh, so that was definitely something. No, but I remember even like those things that. I take for granted now, like the trees moving. Yeah, yeah. I remember that it used to be static. Yeah. It was like a rock. Must have been so and, weird. Yeah, and and then I remember when they implemented the update where they started moving, and it was like, dude, it's like such a big game changer. So yeah, really, really enjoyed the progress over the years. There used to be a well next to this barn as well. Main uh, crossroads there. Oh, yeah. See, Here I is. remember well. Nice. I seen even a knife. You remember Bonus. well. <laughs> very well. <laughs> pun, pun not intended. I, I very much miss the games industry. Mm. Uh, and also just the people at Bohemia. Like, unfortunately, some of the people from the OG Daisy team, of course, they're not here. So, Eugene, Buddy, mm -hmm. uh, if people who have been with Daisy for a couple of years. I'm pretty sure you remember those. Uh, so th this was really like the, the the dream team, I think, back then. So it was me, you, Batty, Tim, and oh, yeah, the marketing yeah. team. We had Eugene, lead producer, Peter especially as the lead designer back then. We still have Adam, that's great. Uh, so, but yeah, that like in terms of in terms of the how everything was within the development and you know with the game, it was the toughest time, but. People-wise, yeah. but was, we had a nice time. <laughs> it, was, it was really yeah. fun. So. Honestly, right now I really feel very confident about it because, uh, like, you guys have seen the producer Tim on a stream yes. way back then. I think like more than a year ago. Uh, it's absolutely and, great how and, Tim yeah. have, has yeah, has and, grown and, from and, and he started as a community manager. So yeah. we were working all together, and then he moved to producer role because he just got really handy with you know the overview because when you are doing like the marketing you kind of need to peek into all the yeah. departments to know what they are up to so it kind of started as him being interested in how things progress right yeah. and now i think tim has uh, is like um, big influence on the daisy and very good one actually so i think when you mentioned dream team i had a amazing time back then but i think professionally wise we came really a long way uh, yeah. to, to something that we can do now And yeah, with the popularity, I think of every like online game out there, there is the issue with cheating. That uh, I think Zesty, uh, yeah, Zesty Polvo was asking about, like mm. the, or like he was complaining that there's nothing about it being done. Like we commented on it on a couple of streams. It's like very difficult topic to tackle. We are working with Batlai, uh, and like we can, for example, say that uh, this year so far we. We banned uh, a lot of players. Actually, I think it's will come close to, like, yeah, seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand accounts were banned this year. Last year it was uh, even, I think, more. So how how, how many? Sorry. Uh, last year I think it was more than thirty thousand of okay. of the accounts. And yeah, overall, since the beginning of the Daisy, we banned for like uh, cheating. Uh, I think 120,000 accounts. Okay. So that's a lot, but we understand that it's really hard to spot these things, and even for us, right? So uh, yeah, we try to work for, on it. It's not something that we would neglect. Actually, like as you know, like people people talk about this topic on most of the streams, and yeah. it's really hard to say something that doesn't sound like marketing BS. Yeah. But yeah, we are quite upfront. Like it's a difficult uh, challenge for us. 
we are trying what we can to to prevent that. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, at least I wanted to. I went to the guys before the stream, actually before the last stream, but no one asked about cheating last stream. It right. was like the first time ever. Right. Uh, but yeah, so so I pulled these numbers. They might not be like. Like literally like this week or maybe this month up to date but yeah. in general i think it's it's good to notice that like yeah there is literally literally like uh, thousands of people tens of thousands of people are getting banned for cheating um, so we try to yeah, stay on top yeah. of it and uh the transparency in the communication i guess uh I guess we always try to be transparent. I mean, I've been with the community team for like I worked in QA and I started working in QA in 2016. Then we moved to the community team, and I don't think we ever wanted to kind of you know make things foggy or how to say yeah. you know we yeah. always wanted to be clear. But the problem is that not always uh, we get that information confirmed that much ahead of time. You know, especially in the back then. Now the development. Like people can really say us when the updates will probably be, and more or less they are right. But uh, back then, I think we didn't have the such an open communication simply because we didn't want to hurt the and community further by yeah. giving them promises of something that we cannot and, hold. And also, if I, if I also look back at the time where we were in the middle of switching to uh, the modules of the Infusion engine. Uh, it was just um, many things were just very unclear back then to be honest mm -hmm. so it's not that we did not want to communicate some things it's just that to be able to like reliably communicate mm -hmm. yeah so so uh, I, I know that people joke about marketing and everything like everything is slow so like business business like and you know we like Oh, we, 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 we would talk our yeah. way out of everything but to be honest like we like the game we want you guys to be happy from personal standpoint, we want to work on a project that people like, and also just because it's better for the business as well, right? So there is no, not really reason for us to yeah to hide many stuff. I think when you don't communicate stuff, it's usually either one of the two things. It's not really sure how exactly it's gonna look yeah. like, or it's way too early because it's gonna you know you don't want to, uh, for example, talk about a feature, you know and talk about it for three years before you actually can like you know do that that's that's crazy i think that's what kind of happened oh, with base building way way back then where we had the status reports oh, yeah, yeah. That, that we talked about base building way too early i think in the process of implementing it back in the days so people knew about it and knew everything about it like long before they actually play it and it kind of took away the excitement out of it right so, um, so yeah, so that's another thing, I guess. So I'm, um, you know, there's definitely been some stuff that, like you said, wasn't uh, was said too early, maybe, or like too much in detail. Yeah. But like, yeah, or, or, that, that's that's just probably just showing that yeah. uh, the people who are trying to like always on a Daisy team, but in general in Bohemia, there's always people. Who just uh, sometimes even too much, maybe not thinking about the actual business goals, but like making the players happy. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, yeah. But wait, how, as, as you also said it, there's no better business plan than just make people happy. Just make players. a good game. Yes. Like, and yeah. What? Yeah. And Lassin is talking about the too much transparency in the early uh, in the early on the early access. I you think honestly we that can, can yeah, in the this. beginning. Yeah, in the beginning of the early access, so just my personal view is that like there was a lot of enthusiasm, and maybe there wasn't that many Definitely. communication professionals was, there, like you know in the process. There was no marketing guy. Yeah, there was no marketing guy in the beginning, so people were just thinking about stuff and kind of like you know talking about them publicly. Exactly. And yeah, uh, and it's it's, like, you know, it's, people, it's, people it's not fair. People idea that marketing guys are things that stand in between the player base and the development team and that we just like curate the things that have, mm. that can be said like this is the exact example why it is actually useful yeah, yeah. to because have someone in the middle of that process because especially if you have some like enthusiastic leaders of projects you know and or some lead person like lead game designers and so on they can get really like into something and yeah uh, this is my and dad. you need to Oh, <laughs> that's it. Yeah.